fucking boy that and that, that greenery. <laughs> that greenery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Mr. Moore Podcast. We got a special guest in the building today, Donovan. Donovan. Donovan Lathan up in the house, man. Yes, sir. For real, for real. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Donovan? A little bit about myself. I'm from the Kansas City area, Midtown. Went to Southeast. Uh, what, what can I say? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I got hood characteristics, but I, I ain't ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. But I'm from the turf, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I've been there, done that. The inner city, man. The inner yeah. city is something else, boy. Yeah. So, but man, I just, you know what I'm saying? I didn't. Raised about five kids, you know what I'm saying? They grown. Youngest is 19, oldest is 24. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they pretty good kids, you know what I'm saying? Doing good things. I got two in college, about one about to graduate, mm -hmm. one in her second year. That's a good thing. That's what's up. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I mean, they doing good for themselves. And, you know, I like to spend time with them and just work, man. I be on the grind, you know what I'm saying? I be working. <laughs> Gotta have multiple sources of income out here, you know what I'm saying? Boy, you ain't lying about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I got into uh, HVAC because of you, man. I mean... Yeah, I know I was going to say something about that. If you ever seen any of the commercials or any of the social media that I do when it comes to some of my heating and cooling, you see this guy in the videos or in the pictures 90% of the time. Uh, he does most of the installs with me or whatnot. Uh, what I say at least around about 85% of them. If, if it's an install, you're going to see this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. In the trenches, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Got in it. I worked at the cable company for, what, 18 years, and they decided to move and close me down on the department. He was like, yeah. I remember that day I came over <laughs> your crib. I'm like, man, boy, we getting laid off. Like... He was like, man, ain't no other time but to go on and get in this age rack because I was already, you know what I'm saying, dibbing and dabbing and going on jobs with you and PJ. Mm -hmm. Shout out to PJ. What's up, PJ? <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, man, you know what I'm saying, y'all was telling me all the stories, and then that day it just... It clicked for you. It clicked. <laughs> it came full circle. I was like, I'm about to go on and look into it and went, end up going to school and... Mm -hmm. Going to Johnson County Community College and getting the little information that I needed to go on and be certified and just get on the grind, man, and start start doing the HVAC. And it's it's man with HVAC it's just different, bro. Cause mm -hmm. man, it's like seasonal, so it takes like three seasons to get a full year. Yeah, for real, it does. Cause you know what I'm saying? We busy, extremely busy in the summertime. And then once it comes like wintertime real cold, people will just check out a little heater like that yeah. right there and just heat up their whole basement <laughs> and stay in the basement if that furnace ain't working. Man. Like, now we ain't about to call the the, 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 the man because they think, you know, we ain't, you yeah. know, affordable, but we actually affordable. The, the, the prices that everybody else have, we don't have over here. So don't be afraid to call us, call us. We can work out something. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got a partner today, man. He didn't call me. I didn't got he needed blower motor, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Man, I didn't I didn't price it and everything, man. And he's his last thing was like, I gotta go talk to the wife and, and I guess she didn't approve, man. I ain't heard my little my little dog. He ain't even called me. So I'm like, I ain't gonna pressure him because you know, it is what it is. I know how it is, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So You gonna pay some money for the blower motor you put in. You're gonna, hey, you you gotta get on your knees you and gotta get grimy and, on that one. Yeah, and, and most blower motors are extremely dirty. Um, the squirrel cage is dirty. When you pull it out, it's usually four screws. Sometimes it can be six, and you gotta get up. In, you gotta get up under there to really get it. So yeah. that, that's not a cheap job, no matter where you get it from. <laughs> it, it's just not cheap. And shoot, your blower motor gonna cost a couple hundred. Yeah, he see he don't know that <laughs> the price is fl then fluctuated by the time he got the old old price. That, mm -hmm. It's a new day now, so I mean you know. Hopefully he understand or you know what I'm saying. I mean of course if he go to somebody else they gonna 
charge them out the yin yang, but yeah, that happens all the time. People always check your price, compare it to somebody else, and not choose you. You be like, really? <laughs> That's why you always got to uh, charge for most service calls or whatnot because you never know if they're gonna really choose you yeah. or they're just beating you for information. Yeah. But it's a part of the game. You get used to it. No big deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, man. So, man, I, you know, I worked a little maintenance, but I, I you know, I, I didn't shade. I didn't kind of shade away from that. Mm -hmm. I just do a little, you know, full time job. Got the perfect hours, so I'm off like Friday, Saturday, Sunday.